Hello my friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to create silhouettes three different ways. All right, so the first type of silhouette I'm going to create will be white and it will be in front of a scenic background. So what I'll do is I'm going to bring in my um, uh, image um, and I'm going to select, I'm going to look for a football player. And I'm, I'm just going to pick this one, okay? Uh, I'm going to come in and I am going to remove the background on that. Okay. Now I'm going to go and find a football stadium. Now, of course, you can bring in any picture of yourself, a friend. Uh, you can bring in uh, a picture of any stadium. It really does not matter, um, you know, what pictures you're using. I'm going to set the stadium as my background. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take uh, this image and I'm going to edit the photo and I'm going to use the dual tone effect. I'm going to come up here to custom. And you have two choices. Um, well, you have a lot of choices here, but if you come into the custom, um, you can either set the highlights to dark or the highlights to uh, light or any, uh, any color you like. But um, in order to get this white, we're gonna change both of them to white. And there you have it. So this is this is um, the first that that's the first <laughs> type of silhouette that we've got. And um, so you can you know um, customize that however you like the the position. Um, that's the first type of silhouette. I'm going to add a page here, and the second type of silhouette that I'm going to create. Um, is one that you typically see with uh, logos. So I'm going to search for a female side profile as an example. Um, now, of course, you can use any of these, but if there's a certain um, customized silhouette that you want to use, then, um, you know, you could you could bring that in. All right, so I'm searching for um, a silhouette, a woman's face. And um, again, you can bring in any customized image that you'd like. Um, I'm going to choose uh, this one. And um, it's the same idea as, um, as the football player. You can bring in any image you like here, but the first thing I'm going to do is remove the background. And now I'm going to go back uh, and I'm going to use the duo tone and I'm going to go into custom and I'm going to change these both to black. Okay, so they're both black. And um, I'm just going to make that smaller. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for my silhouette, uh, that maybe you might want to um, uh, make a logo out of this, right? So uh, normally what we see is we see a circle around a silhouette. And that's what I'm doing right here is I'm just creating a circle and I'm just going to bring that to the back. All right. So um, there is uh, a, a logo silhouette. 
a cameo, if you may call it. Um, you can even add some text, uh, some text to this, and you can um, curve the text and um, just place it uh, up here around um, as part of your logo. Right? So I'll just leave that with you and you can, if that's something that you want to do, you want to create, um, I'll leave that idea with you. Uh, the third type of silhouette is more like a gradient transparent that is, um, that will look like two pictures um, superimposed on top of one another. All right, so I'm gonna start off by looking for a background. Um, I'm searching for, I'm gonna search for a waterfall. All right, and um, let's see what we have here. Um, I think um, we'll use uh, this one and we'll just set that as our background. Um, okay, I'm now gonna go and look for uh, a picture of a, a woman and I'm going to use this one. I'm going to flip it so that she's looking towards the waterfall and I'm going to remove the background um, like I did for the other pictures. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to move her here and I'm going to make her larger like so. And um, I'm going to uh, modify this photo. I'm just going to um, reduce the transparency or, in or increase the transparency on the photo. So I'm just going to make it uh, a little bit lighter. And I'm going to adjust the, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to adjust the uh, vibrance a little bit and the saturation a little bit. And um, I'm also going to add uh, a gradient uh, in here, a dark gradient. Okay, I'll use that one and um, I'm just going to change the direction and move it like that in that position. I'm just going to adjust her position because I don't think I've got her all the way down, but there we go. Now, if you need to, you can add another gradient um, just to uh, like just make it more of a seamless uh, transition there. So um, you can do that. Uh, you can also change the transparency of the gradient just to blend a little bit more. And um, also what you can do is you can move uh, the layers um, a little bit so that um, it's, you know, it blends in a little bit more. So um, here is uh, another idea, and I, I, I hope you saw what I did there. I went into position layers, and I'm kind of just moving these uh, uh, layers or elements uh, around just to get um, a better uh, blending effect between the uh, image of the woman and the waterfall. And now um, you can make this image more, uh, either more opaque or more transparent. Um, you just need to play with it just to get it um, the way you like. But uh, this is another uh, way to create a silhouette uh, effect uh, in, a, in a, an image, um, basically uh, two images that are superimposed on one another. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If there's anything that you liked or learned, please don't forget to press that like button. 
Um, there will be another tutorial coming out shortly with regards to silhouettes. It's a little bit more complex and it um, uh, basically describes the process on how to make a silhouette uh, transparent and hollow so that you can place a picture behind it, either a picture or a video. Uh, so if you're interested in, in that type of a challenge, don't forget to press that subscribe button so that you're the first to be notified when some new content comes out. Thank you very much, my friends, for joining me today. Until next time, bye-bye.